Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 70 in chapter 16. Chapter 16 is about sound wave. There we talk about Doppler's effect. Now let's see what quantity is given. It gave, gave us the source frequency, right? And this source frequency is uh, uh, 720 Hz. It's stationary. And also tell us the wind velocity, 15 meter per second. And also tell us the temperature, 20 degree. From this one, we can get the speed of the sound in the air, 343 meter per second. See, we have three quantities. Now, first part tell you the observer is stationary, right? At rest, that means stationary. A due north. If it due north, we can see observer stationary, source due stationary. There is no relative motion. So no Doppler's effect, the frequency just equal to the source frequency. Similarly, if the um, observer due south and it, the observer stationary, the source is stationary, no relative motion, we can say no Doppler's effect, right? The frequency just equal to the source frequency. Similarly, the observer due east, no Doppler's effect, so frequency equal to the origin frequency. If the observer due west, still no relative motion, no Doppler's effect, the frequency equal to the source frequency. The next one, uh, we can see the E, right? Now, it tell you what frequency is heard by the cyclist. Now, this, this observer began to ride a bicycle, right? It's moving and heading north or west. And then the speed for the cyclist is 12 meters per second, right? Now since it changes. Now in this case, we can see uh, the observer start to move due west, uh, due north. So observer moves to the north, so the wind will just uh, come to his or her face, right? So the wind is velocity is this one, agree? The wind is uh, velocity is this one, but also we learned the speed of the sound in the air is this one. So we consider the wind and the sound of the wave together. We find the effective speed of the sound should add these two together. Agree? Because the sound wave travels this way, and also the wind travels this way, so we need to add them together. In this case, the lambda e, the effective wavelength is used the ve divided by f naught. Agree? Yes. And now we look at the uh, wavelength approaches to cyclist. So in this part, we can see we have the effective sound speed of the sound and the speed from the cyclist. Agree? And in this case, we need to add these three together because they approaches each other. They approaches each other makes the frequency increase, right? So we need to add them together. So now the, fun, the total speed divided by effective wavelength get the final answer for this frequency. The next one tell you what if there's a, a cyclist towards the west. So if the cyclist towards the west and the wind moves to the east, right? This never affect the relative motion between the source and observer because the source and observer north south right no powers so this is just uh this is just a vineyard as before right so in this case we have the function in our test book you input known quantities inside get the final answer there thank you